What's going on YouTube? Welcome to AOL, another, another level arms. My name is Richard. Today, we got another pro review today. So, um, everybody, uh, you've been watching my other videos before. I have made a video about the EOTech. So we got the EOTech here, the APS uh, 3-4, and also night vision compatible. And we got the EOTech G43 here, here as well. It's not a G45, it's a G43. So the G43 is a three times magnifier. The same concept as a G33 model, the very, very old model that's been out for a very long time. Um, this is the upgrade version, so it's more stubby, more shorter, and as you can see, more of a low profile. And then they made a G45 that has a five times zoom magnifier. I should have got that one, but it's okay. Anyhow, I will making this setup set here, build here as small, as compact as possible, but also get what I need when I'm, when I'm using this firearm. When I'm using this rifle, uh, when one is just to protect myself as necessary or go to the gun range. Okay, so you guys can see it's a very uh, EOTech is a very solid, good three times magnifier, um, holographic um, red dot system. Okay, it's not really a red dot, but it's more of a holographic um, uh, red dot. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's mounted on the rail. Okay, and you when you buy a kit like this, the EOTech comes with a side view see so you use magnifier you don't want to use the magnifier so as you can see how it sticks out to the side we're going to change that so today we got a pro viewer right here um it's called unity fast and i've been on their top for quite some time but every time i want to want to order something they're out of stock so i was like man every single time you know and then in order for me to do a youtube video i have to have all the stuff here present here in my face so i can do the youtube video for you guys like if I don't have it, it's hard for me to do YouTube. Anyhow, I got most of the stuff here. Um, we do missing one other thing, but I'm not getting it. So let's dive down and close, see what it's all about from the Unity Fast set. No, Unity Fast, Fast. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so this is the FaceTime. Here is the Unity Fast, uh, Unity merchandise, okay? So we have, um, there might be, a, one was probably a duplicate because there are um, weapon lights. Yeah, so these are our, the weapon light system here. So if you mount this on your M-Lock, okay? Your M-Lock system, and you hook this tail up to the Surefire, or your to your surefire scout body to your mod light uh, head system of your weapon light and your rifle. That's a that's the one way how I run it. Um, all right, this is just extra here for me if I decide to change my system. But most of my rifles already have it, so I just buy as a backup. This one here, I don't remember which one. This one is here. Okay, yeah, this one here. I probably lost a box. Yeah, I probably did. That's probably used as a dummy. Okay, this is part of the Unifast riser. I threw away the other box. Okay, and which one is this? This is the old one. No, no one. This is the old one. So we have the Unity riser and the Unity um, EOTech Model G33 flip to center magnifier tall mount. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Open the bag. And you got screws. Pretty simple. Nothing crazy. Okay, put that inside for now. Okay, now this is the riser. Okay, this is the riser. This is where you put your, your EOTech onto this. So it'll raise up the, the red dot system on your uh, AR pistol or your AR rifle. Okay, your armor light rifle. So this is the riser. Put that aside. Here are two stubby screws that came with this mount here. Okay. This is the original old school traditional G33 fast Unity fast mount here. Okay. So I don't have a G33. I was trying to get one. Um, I ended up getting a G45 EOTech instead. That's why I bought the newer version. So this one here is just sitting there. So um, I'll probably sell it or something. I don't know. i figure it out. So this one here does flip to center. Okay. Um, see how it you got you and you here okay patent pending and if you guys can see it says it comes i can't really just read that i know it says patent pending by unity anyhow 
that's how it works okay so you get your riser here you get your flip the center right here so as you can see that's how it lines up your red dot sits here your g33 magnifier three times magnifier sits right here underneath here so when you when you line them up and it sits in a rough like that okay if you don't want to use a magnifier you just want to use the red dot system i do it just fold this down and now the magnifier is out of your way and you can still use the red dot system okay now unity had came out another product um a replacement for this okay which is the unity uh, omni uni fast omni okay this is more universal so now you can see the optic center line is 2.26 inches above the rail stows optic uh with the receiver footprint integrated adm qd auto lock lever it's made out of 7075 t6 aluminum type 3 mil spec hard coating anodized made in the usa scan the thing for um installations and how to do it this color is black so they do make um fde color or you can get them black okay uh failure to follow instructions may avoid warranty okay and this one here will fit the g45 this will fit the g33 this will fit the g40 um a g33 g43 and the g45 magnifier on one on one mount they made it universal one mount that does it all okay that's actually more smarter compared to this because they had made this model for the g33 but if you want to use an aim point you got to buy a different one this one here covers for all the eotech mind um, eotech magnifier class you know so one mount does it all compared to this one here it only has worked for the g33 now if you get a g43 or a g45 this mount will not work for you you have to buy the neural model okay anyhow i want to weigh this together and show you the results of this that way you get the idea how much it weighs and the reason why that's important because you're adding more weight to your rifle I wonder where I do that thing. Sorry, I think I'll get my my scale. Okay, as you guys can see, we get the scale here. Make sure it's zeroed out. Now, you got the riser. You got the old traditional uh, Unity Fast uh, G33 mount right here. This is a complete package right here, and you got two screws the screws to mount the the g33 so we'll see how much it weighs this together the fast riser the g33 mount plus the two screws so this package right here weighs about 7.4 ounces okay almost 12 ounces we need 12 ounces to make it to one pound so you're adding 7.4 ounces for this setup here the two screws, the G33 mount from Unifast, the Unifast uh, riser, okay? Now, we got the new one here. Let's open it up, and we're also going to weigh this as well. It's brand new. I didn't even get to open it. Let me grab a knife. Okay, I'll put this up. We got more screws. Oh boy. We got one, two, three, four, four small screws. You got two uh, stubby uh, torque screws. And this, I have no idea what in the world this is. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. But to the looks of it, I'm trying to, it says something on there. S I G SIG or something. I don't know. It's for something. I can scan the, the thing that tells me how you install it. Anyhow, you get your screws here, and then you got your new mount, the Omni New Fast Mount right here. And there we have it. Okay, we put that aside. Okay, so you guys can see it's different. 
okay okay it's look see this is smaller this is bigger okay and you got one screw here it does have spring tension you guys can see see it's spring tension this one here is a lock mechanism pull this down it does have spring tension as well the auto model has spring tension as well okay so you know that so you guys can see the difference okay compared to whoops there we go so see this one's bigger and this one's smaller see it this works for everything fast center that's it you don't want to use the magnifier and you, it, it stores the up the magnet bar away you look the top of this to your red dot system of your holographic or your eotech so that's how it looks nothing crazy different okay the way i see it it's almost about the same the screw here is different there's a bigger head let's use a, a flat head um that's a little screw in the middle let's use a torque screw okay so that's a little different right here it's been changed you can see it's bigger here this is nothing here more flush and how this one works that same thing with this this is the front okay so smaller here and then a the side view okay so you see the holes are different <laughs> excuse me see the j3 the g33 mount here see you have different screws here for different mounting systems for your g43 the g45 or or your g33 can fit on this okay so it's different the plate here is longer this one here is shorter it has a square hole right here this one don't okay top view it has a hole right here this one's been flushed the arm here is longer this arm here is a little shorter Okay, that's a comparison right there. The bottom, it's the same. The same, none different. Okay, this is the front, uh, the uh, back view. So this is changed right here. This right here is a little bit more sticking out. This was more flush. Okay, we got a little hole here. I guess it's to cut out to reduce weight. I don't know. Here's just flush. So this now you know how much the the G the original Unity Fast G33 mount and the riser with the two screws. You see how that, how much it weighs. Now we're gonna put this on the side and put this weight. Let's see how much it weighs. Make sure it's zeroed out. You get the Unity Fast riser. You get the new Omni mount and the screws so 7.8 ounces you're adding 7.8 ounces to your armor light rifle your armor light pistol your ar pistol which are how you whatever you want to call it you're adding this much weight if you want to run the system so 7.8 ounces add the original old one with the two screws 7.4 7.5 ounces so it's a couple more ounces heavier the newer style it's a couple more ounce heavier okay give you guys an idea there you go 7.8 ounces so you're adding about two to three more ounces on this newer system here so they add more material for it okay so now we got that out of the way let's install these two bad boys here i've been wanting to do this for a little while get you guys in a bit all right, guys, before I continue showing you, uh, I'm not showing you, but I'm, well, I want to install it off the camera, but I want to show you something. So if you're confused how many pounds of torque you use to screw down these screws and all that, again, use that barcode. So we get my phone here. Look for that scanner. See it? Hit that. And there you go. So it tells you right here. See? It tells you do not adjust the pivot bolt this is uh, this mount this is this is symbol mount doing so will avoid the warranty here's your two strap screws here 
Remove the magnifier from factory mount and set aside. You use large screws to 35 inch pound. Small screws are 13 inch pound. So if you mount your G45, your G33, your G43, you use the big screws that are 35 pounds in torque. Um, this is 13 pounds of torque if you use a smaller one. And the little piece I showed you right there, and there you go. You use that little piece for an extra support. You use four small screws. I don't know which one we use yet. I gotta take that thing apart and find out. And that's what it looks like. Ensure firearm is included. See? So flip, pretty close and pretty good. Okay? So this is the Omni mount, the new one. Okay? And then the old one. See how it's different? You use two different, uh, two of the other two screws. See how the, G, the G33 magnifier is different? See how it looks? So they shield it more right here. See, it's different. Okay. Just give you guys an idea. Okay. All right, guys. Let me go ahead and install it. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Let's show you a little process here. Okay. So we got the, the magnifier off. And we got the EOTech off as well, as you guys can see. So now we'll take off the magnifier uh, first and remove these screws here. Now, I did make a video of this tool set right here. You can use your other brand too called Wheeler, Wheeler Engineering. But I use this brand called Fix Sticks. So it comes with all these tools here, okay? You got your sight, your brush, your socket, your, um, your ring for your AR. The, um, the buffer tube uh, that goes into your lower receiver. This is a tool for that too as well. They got torque screws, uh, Phillips head, uh, square ones. They got extensions to clean your barrel as well. They got a, um, a scraper to remove gunk. They got a brush. They got all kinds of tools here. Okay, You got your sight tool here as well. And then you got more uh, torque screw sets right here. Okay. And then they have different weights, okay? So you see this one here is a, um, it's a fixed sticks. It's a 15 in pound max, okay? See, 15 pounds. So you're doing anything 15 pounds or less, that's the one you wanna use. The green one is 25 pounds, and, okay? To torque down your screw. You don't wanna over tighten your screws because it will break, I have broken before. I know, I know what I'm talking about. This one right here is 45 pounds, okay? So that's what it comes with right here, okay? Now, if you wanna buy extra accessories for it, which I did right here, this one here rates up from zero all the way up to 65 pounds, okay? This is not including the kit. This is additional you have to buy. Now, this is a long one. If you want a short stubby one, here's 65 pounds right here to add more weight to tighten down your screws but you never know this can this tool here can do anything it can work on your pistols your ars your ar pistols your rifles um your 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 bicycle any appliances you know drawers desk you want to do some screws and stuff like that you can do it all right here okay um a good tool for your hobby okay so <clears throat> oh we use that phillips head so we got like that, this thing spins. You come out like this. You come out like this. Or this way, don't really matter. Okay, doable. There we go. All right, guys, just wanna give you guys a heads up. That way, if you're looking for this kind of tool, I'll have the links at the bottom as well. Let me go ahead and finish this just install. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. It's set up, okay? Pretty much set up. See, so if you guys look through, I don't know if you guys can see it, but see how clear it is right here? Yeah, we can see your red dot. You want magnifier, there you go, okay? You don't want to use the magnifier, there you go, okay? So completely out of sight now one thing dearly notice is that when you run a fast unity fast system you will no longer cheat well 
you your cheek will not go on your stock or your brace you won't because now the riser the unifest set it raises everything up okay it no longer sits down flush with the picketing tail rails of the ar platform see so everything is right here but everything has moved from here and up okay so you see the eotech is not even down 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 on the picking tail rail of the rifle it's on the riser okay same thing with this the magnifier okay Oh, this side here, that way you guys know what, what it looks like. See, so it's on a riser, no longer on itself. Okay, so every time I draw, oh, I should need one. There you go. Every time I draw, I go like this. It's a very slight cheek well, it's mostly like no, like what I mean by cheek well, I mean like this. No, no more like this, okay? That's barely touching, well, it's touching my cheek, but not like all oh, in it. You be getting what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, I'm not, no. So, raise it up, it's in. I want my magnifier, good to go. Now it lines up perfectly, okay? So I look through here, I got my magnifier. Both wide, both of my eyes are wide open. Okay, I can see everything. Now, if I don't want the magnifier, I got the I got the red dot right there on my sight. Okay, so that is the Uni Fast Tactical Uni Tactical uh, Uni Fast Complete Set. Okay, I've been wanting to put it on for quite some time, for many years down the road. Just didn't have time, and it's a lot. I'm I'm tired. But anyhow, we got it done, right? We got it done. No complaints. No more complaints. We are already done. So that is the Unity Fast riser with the new Omni mount from Unity Fast. Okay, Unity actually not Unity Fast. Unity Tackle Tactical. So now this right here blackout is complete. Okay, it is complete. It's completely done. And traditional ways of having a 300 blackout is a suppressor now my 300 blackout is complete okay shooting subs we're set okay this rifle is done complete so if I want to use it it's good to go okay Unity fast. I highly recommend it. I know it's been one on one for a few years. It's just parts and parts of this and that. Never around and people buy them all up and if I get to do a YouTube video and I probably get all the stuff that I need to do YouTube and we're set. Alright guys, that's all right now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, give me a thumbs like, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell down below. Uh, footage, uh, I promise you there's more footage on the way. There'll be, uh, be some training videos as well. Again, if you become a, uh, a patron supporter of my channel, to me, will help out my channel a lot and create more, co uh, more uh, content for you guys um, as well. And you're also able to see videos that may or may not go on YouTube, and, but you get to see um, them first. And even though they do go on YouTube, you get to see those footage first before anyone else, before it goes on my YouTube live. And if you have any questions or you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can as well through Patreon, okay? So if you become a patron uh, for my channel, thank you very much, okay? That's all right now, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm happy with the setup. We are officially done with this rifle here. Um, we got one more rifle to do, and uh, I'm working on that, okay, part by part. All right, guys. Peace. You guys have a wonderful weekend. See you next time.